Coming up, it's the 50th NBA All-Star Game. We're just about set for the player introductions. Let's go to the public address from the Washington Wizards, the PA man, Kevin Heilbrunner. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our nation's capital, Washington, D.C., home of NBA All-Star 2001. Turn on your All-Star lights. The NBA All-Star game is about to begin. Let's meet the NBA All-Stars 2001. First here, your Western Conference All-Stars. The trainer for the West team from the Houston Rockets, Keith Jones. The assistant coaches from the Sacramento Kings, John Wetzel, Pete Carrill, and Elston Turner. The head coach for the West, making his second All-Star coaching appearance from the Sacramento Kings, Rick Edelman. And now the players from the Western Conference. Voted as a starter for his eighth consecutive All-Star team, unable to compete due to injury. At seven foot one, the center for the Los Angeles Lakers, Shaquille O'Neal. From the Dallas Mavericks, six foot seven forward and two-time NBA All-Star, Michael Finley. Also at forward at six foot nine from the Denver Nuggets, making his first All-Star game appearance, Antonio McDice. From the Portland Trail Blazers, six foot eleven forward and two-time All-Star, Rasheed Wallace. From the Sacramento Kings, making his first All-Star appearance, seven-foot-one center of Lonnie Divac. At seven-foot-one, making his tenth All-Star game appearance, the center from the San Antonio Spurs, David Robinson. From the Seattle Supersonics, 6'4 guard and seven-time All-Star, Gary Payton. And at 6'9, 12-time NBA All-Star forward from the Utah Jazz, Carl Malone. And now the starting five. Forward from the San Antonio Spurs, Tim Duncan. At six foot ten, making his third All Star team and first starting appearance, Sacramento Kings forward, Chris Weber. Phoenix Suns, Jason Kidd. And at six foot 
seven, three-time all-star guard from the Los Angeles Lakers, Kobe Bryant. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the 2001 Western Conference All-Star. The trainer for the East team, from your Washington Wizards, Kevin Johnson. The assistant coaches from the Philadelphia 76ers, Randy Ayers, Maurice Cheeks, and John Houston. The head coach for the East coaching his second NBA All-Star game from the Philadelphia 76ers, Larry Brown. All-Stars, voted as a starter and unable to compete due to injury at 6'8", six six-time All-Star forward from the Orlando Magic, Grand Hughes. Also voted as a starter but unable to compete due to injury, four-time All-Star, 6'10", center from the Miami Heat, Alonzo. Due to injury, selected to his first All-Star team at 6'10", center for the Philadelphia 76ers, Theo Ratliff. At 7'2", the center for the Atlanta Hawks, seven-time All-Star, Dikembe. Six foot six, two-time All-Star guard from the Detroit Pistons, Jerry Saka. At six foot five, two-time All-Star guard from the Milwaukee Bucks, Ray Allen. Also from the Milwaukee Bucks. Six seven forward in his second All Star appearance, Lynn Robinson. At six foot two, first time All Star guard from the New Jersey Nets, Stephon Marbury. From the New York Knicks, six foot six guard and two time. Consecutive year at forward from the Toronto Raptors, Vince Carter. From the Miami Heat, making his first All Star appearance, six foot eight forward, Anthony. First All-Star appearance at 
second consecutive All-Star game. Guard from the Philadelphia 76ers, Ellen Iverson! The 2001 Eastern Conference All-Star. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the NBA 2001 All-Star. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask you to please rise for the singing of the national anthems of the United States and Canada. Performing the Canadian national anthem is Toronto native Deborah Cox. Singing of the Star Spangled Banner is a great young talent. Please give a warm welcome to Columbia recording artist Jessica Simpson.
Well, this is a series that dates back to 1951, the very first NBA All-Star game taking place.